Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I thought of sharing with you some summer tips which will help you get through this hot and humid summer of ours. So keep on watching this video. First things first, it's really important for everyone to use a sunblock. I highly recommend all of you to use a sunblock 30 minutes before you leave the house and apply it on all your body parts, whatever is going to be exposed in the sun, your face, be it your neck, your hands, your legs, whatever you think is getting exposed. So you must apply this on your body before leaving the house. I use the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock. This has SPF 50 in it, which I think is perfect and it serves my purpose very well. So sometimes what happens is that I start feeling a little greasy on my face having put a layer of moisturizer, then a sunblock, then foundation and then concealer. So I feel like that my face is already too caked up and that too in summertime and daytime it's really tough to handle that. So what I like to do is I uh, like to mix this with my foundation so that I have my sunblock on my face and the foundation gives the tint to it. So I mix equal portions of sunblock and the uh, foundation that I'm using and I apply it all over my face and neck. So both the things solve their own purposes. So this way I get the perfect coverage and I don't even feel greasy because after uh, applying this layer I can just apply my concealer and I'm good to go. Or the other option is that you can use foundations which already have SPF in it like for example uh, the Revlon Color Stay foundation this has SPF 20 in it. Then there's a, a L'Oreal True Match foundation this has SPF 15 in it. And you can also, if you want to go for a high-end uh, foundation, then you can go for the MAC Studio Sculpt. This one has SPF 15 in it. So all these foundations have the SPF within the range of 15 to 20, which is fine. So either you can use the foundations which already have SPF in it, or you can do what is mix foundation and uh, uh, sunscreen, like what I'm doing lately. The next thing is that you need to have a face mist in your hand purse at all the times. So uh, during summer especially your uh, face tends to feel a lot dehydrated. So you need to keep your face looking fresh and hydrated and calm at all times. So what I like to do is I like to use this at home uh, rose water face mist. This has equal parts of rose water and water in it. So I made this at home but the bottle is of Kama's rose water uh, spray so I got over with the product which was inside so I filled in my DIY in this bottle. So this does what is this uh, sets my makeup so I can spray it on my face whenever I'm tired or I feel lethargic so I just spray it on my face. So this does not even smudge my makeup at all it in fact sets the makeup in its place and it makes my face look fresh and hydrated at all times so this really awakens me and it's a must-have for summer season with the type of summer that we deal with I don't think we can afford to smell bad at all which is why I think that body mists are again must-haves for the summertime and uh, these are my current uh, favorites uh, this one is the body shops moringa body mist and this one is the layers I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I will have this uh, name and the detail of this in the information box below. This is the Layer Water Girl Emerald Fusion Body Mist. So these are my two current favorites. So I make sure that I have at least one of them in my hand purse at all times whenever I'm outside my house. In summers what happens is that our face tends to absorb a lot of sweat which makes the makeup crack resulting in a lot of crease lines on the face and stuff like that. So I really like the idea of blotting sheets. So however blotting sheets are really expensive in the market but you can uh, make blotting sheets at home very quickly and very easily and they're very inexpensive. So these are the blotting sheets that I'm talking about. These come uh, with the packaging of Indian wear like sarees and Indian ethnic suits and stuff like that. So these come for the gift wrapping and all of that. So you can uh, collect some of these uh, blotting sheets and you can cut them in small pieces and keep them in your hand purse so that you can just uh, put it, place it on your face and these are really great oil absorbents actually. So what I have done is I have cut these uh, uh, blotting sheets in small sizes like these and I like to keep them in this zip pouch 
so that I can just uh, put it inside my handbag so what is to be done is you can just take one blotting sheet whenever you feel very oily and sweaty place it on your face on the areas where you tend to feel more oily in my case I tend to feel more oily on my t-zone area so uh, I like to just place the blotting sheet on my t-zone area and the oil gets absorbed in the sheet so I feel better after using these it's very important to keep ourselves hydrated at all times which is why I recommend you to have at least uh, 3 litres of water consumption on a daily basis. You can also alter your uh, uh, water consumption with things like uh, fresh fruit juices, lime juice, lassies etc. in order to avoid any sort of dehydration or drooliness. The next must have are definitely sunglasses. So I will recommend all of you to not forget your sunglasses whenever you are stepping out of the house. It will help you tolerate the sun in a more easy and convenient manner no matter how high the temperature is. So sunglasses are really important for summertime. So when it comes to makeup, I make sure that I throw on some bronzer onto my face, preferably a powder one. and also apply the highlighter on the highest points of my face for a very sun-kissed sort of a look. My scalp gets really oily because of the sweat and also because I work out so all the oiliness sticks onto my scalp so which makes my hair greasy in no time. So what I like to do is I use baby powder and put this on my scalp and just massage. This helps in getting rid of all the oiliness that is there on your scalp and you can go one day more without washing your hair. So for summer season it's very important for me to apply a good layer of primer with before applying the makeup so that the makeup sticks onto my face for a longer period of time without any smudging or creasing or anything like that. So I've been using this Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser Primer. I've been using this non-stop on a daily basis. It's a great primer. I've been loving it. But you can use any primer that you love and you trust and you've been using that for a long time. Now so just use any primer and make sure to use it before applying your uh, makeup. You will notice the difference yourself. So if our face can feel dry during summers, our lips can as well. Which is why I recommend all of you to have a lip balm in your bag at all times. So whenever I'm out of the house, I always wear a lipstick. But whenever I'm inside the house, you will forever notice and see me wearing a lip balm on my lips. It's really important to keep your lips hydrated guys. You need to start using a lip balm on a daily basis whenever you're at home just apply a layer of lip balm no one is watching you so just wear your lip balm also I will suggest you guys to carry some body wet wipes whenever you know that there's a long day out exposed in the sun so here I'm not talking about the face wipes or the makeup remover wipes I'm talking about the body wipes which are specifically made for the purpose of body cleansing and not face cleansing so I use the doctor's choice body wet wipes now these are like really huge huge uh, body wet wipes the, this one packet uh, contains of 10 body wet wipes and uh, each wet wipe is 32 by 32 centimeter of size so it's like really huge so whenever I'm out in the sun for a long period of time I carry this in my purse and I just take one of this and clean my hands and legs and get rid of any sort of dirt or sweat or anything like that and I feel instantly fresh so, so I will suggest you all to start using something like this you will really like it so let me know if any of these tips worked for you and if you have any tip to share with me let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye